Members of the National Disability Rights Network assist thousands of citizens each year through the Protection and Advocacy for Individuals with Mental Illness Program by partnering with our Protection and Advocacy offices in each state. This is the story of Louise Worrell and Beatrice Bacon. My name is Louise Worrell. I was in a very unpleasant and unsanitary living condition. I was living at um, semi-independent living houses, and they would just come in speaking abusively to us. They had really bad, bad bed bug infestation. It was just really a cruel place to live and an uncomfortable place to live. My name is Beatrice Bacon. I've been working with University Legal Services since before 2011. They came to Washington Nursing Facility um, offering people a way to get out the nursing home, which I was eagerly trying to get out. So that was a wish come true. The norm for the nursing home is they treat you like a dog. I hated being there. I was walking when I went into the nursing home a little bit. They did not help me. My legs get out on me. I cannot walk. I can't even stand up on my legs. Every year, over 15,000 individuals receive legal services through the Protection and Advocacy for Individuals with Mental Illness Program. The PAMI program uh, came into being in the mid-80s um, based on uh, exposés uh, that were conducted by uh, Senate staff on the conditions in mental health facilities. And we were able to convince Congress to create a protection and advocacy program for individuals with mental illness. We have a full range of legal authority uh, to represent uh, people with disabilities, and in this case, people with mental illness. We have very powerful access authority that allows us to go into those facilities uh, where people with mental illness uh, may be housed. Because of our access authority, we can go into those uh, facilities and check on people. And if we see something that doesn't look right, um, we can question what's going on, we can demand to see that person's records and begin the process of looking at whether they are actually receiving the kinds of treatment and services that they were uh, you know, committed to those facilities for in the first place. The biggest thing was the peace of mind they gave me at the time when they first came in to help me. The thing that they helped me with is we gave them back my freedom. Going about my independence. So much of the way I looked at life and the way I felt about things has changed in so many ways. What's I think unique about our program is that we are the only group that really stands there as the voice of the person with a mental illness. Mm -hmm.